So here's another take on this question. It's something that everybody should be talking about, but nobody is. So this is our brain, right? Well, this is what many scientists are referring to as our second brain. In our gut is something called the microbiome. It's basically a field of good and bad gut bacteria. And there is a strong link between brain number one and brain number two. 2,000 plus years ago, Hippocrates said all disease begins in the gut. And man, was that ever prophetic. Modern scientists are finding that poor gut health leads to depression, anxiety, and a bunch of other mental health conditions, including food addiction. Right now, there are hundreds of studies being done about the gut and brain connection. There's an extremely strong link between obesity and overeating and poor gut health. The good news is by making some small, simple changes to your diet, you can actually transform your gut health, and it happens quite rapidly. In our gut, there's a never-ending battle between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. When the good bacteria are winning the battle, your mental health, your immune health, and your overall health are much better. The bad bacteria thrive on sugar, grease, and a bunch of other things that are way too common in our diet. The good bacteria in our gut are referred to as probiotics. These are living organisms, and many people take probiotics to try and strengthen their gut health. Probiotics eat prebiotics. So I want to talk about what a prebiotic is and why it's perhaps more important than supplementing with probiotics or eating foods that have a lot of natural probiotics. When bad bacteria are winning the battle, the brain link between your first brain and your second brain begins to break down. And one of the main signals that breaks down is the hunger signal. Our bodies are overfed, but undernourished. And so they constantly are asking the brain for more and more food. So what kind of food do they want? Again, prebiotics. And prebiotics are found in natural fiber. The process of processing food is the process of removing fiber from the food. Just taking probiotics isn't going to help. That's like getting a dog, a watchdog, to protect your house, but then not giving him any food. Eventually, he'll die, and all the intruders will get in and take over. Now, this apple juice has been stripped of all the fiber. It's pure sugar, and the bad bacteria love stuff like this. So here's the takeaway from this. In order to improve your gut health, you need to give yourself prebiotics or fiber. And if you can't get it through your diet, you should supplement. As those prebiotics begin to feed the good bacteria in your gut, they'll get stronger and they'll begin to win the battle against the bad bacteria. Simply fixing your microbiome can help fix many of the problems that we're facing today with our health and especially with our mental health.